Hello and welcome. This is Zoli from uh, Clockwork Time. The website is clockworktime.eu. The Instagram and uh, the mail address. So today I'm going to talk about, as you can see, I have many Glashute vintage watches here and all of them are basically uh, vintage retro models. All of them are uh, some kind of uniqueness. Uh, so for example, I can start uh, with the standard easy type of models. All of them are like uh, gold plated. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you could see the details. Yeah, this is the standard uh, date version. Usually these are 34, 35 millimeters across, uh, heavily uh, gold plated. I mean, some of them does have 14, some of them 20 micron uh, gold plating. You can see the crown and the glass in, in them is, is really in, in good shape. All of them are working just nice. So this one, for example, is, yeah, this is just a manual wind one. And for example, this, uh, I believe, does have the 66.1 or 0.2 caliber. Uh, you can you can find more photos on, on the side because all of these watches are for for sale actually and you can you can see how nice the gold plating is in is in this watch all around so for example the next one I'm going to show you is really similar to the one and this is uh, also 35 millimeters across but this was uh, this watch was uh, basically an automatic. The this one is a manual wind with date, and this one is a, an automatic. But here's the catch: uh, the red second-hand type of watches were only made a few, and the thing is that I'm not sure if this can be seen. Let me try, I will zoom in a bit more. Okay, you can see the... It's a W, it's a mark, a W in here. On the back of the case it's a 20 micron and uh, it's a W. So this means that this watch is only uh, hand wound. The reason this was an <laughs> war officer watch so and, and, and the W means uh, it's a war officer and those watches were uh, historically only uh, manual wound because there were there was a demand to have them only uh, have, have them as a rigid and and uh, durable as possible so they removed the balance wheel from the back of the watch from the from the movement and they kept only the, the manual wound uh, option. So the watch is, is, is working just fine. The gold plating is uh, nice all around. And you can see the crown is uh, also in pretty good condition. It could, be, it, it, it could be better of course, but the small W logo makes the difference. So this was the uh, war, I think it's around the post uh, Second World War era when these were produced and uh, the red second hand and the W mark on the back of the watch, it's uh, just saying that. So I'm going to move on to the similar, uh, sorry, similar size. As you can see, I'll just zoom in. So this is the same 35 millimeter case as the previous two uh, were. This is also a manual wind, but here's the catch. Let me just position it 10, 10. 
as uh, this is the best for making videos and photos you can see it's a Q1 on the display and Q1 in the uh, Gub era meant something like Qualitate Uno which in German means uh, quality number one so these watches were made uh, even in higher uh, precision and higher uh, quality as any of the other others and doesn't mean that uh, these are non-quality or, or anything it's just these watches were inspected for longer uh, they polished them uh, even more and the uh, wheels and and, <coughs> and the gears inside were like higher quality so this why the, the Q1, this uh, Q1 if you can find Q1 uh, watches uh, sure for sure grab them because they are the uh, highly collectible ones among the, the standard 35mm glass shoot. So this is, this is uh, also for sale as I mentioned. The gold plating is uh, nice all around but this is, this is only a manual wound. 64, 66 caliber. I'm, I'm not sure. I have to check on the website. So from from this, let's move to a mo more standard uh, glass shooter. It's the glass shooter 17 rubies automatic. Uh, sorry, it's it's again manual wind. You can hear the teeth how. Can even hear the the movement how how nicely it's uh, it's working. So it's saying uh, 20 micron and steel back and uh, something like uh, splash and shock resistant. So this is also working just fine. These watches uh, were basically uh, rugged and they they were able to withstand any any harder uh, handling so so yeah these are the standard uh, round type this is I believe 36 or 37 millimeters excluding the crown so these were slightly bigger and from the same era we can see uh, let me just zoom in this is the same uh, type of, uh, of, of watch but in this case the dial is, is gold and in this case it's something a pearl sunburst type of again this is manual wound you can see it start running immediately and uh, I believe the, the bracelet is the original one however I'm not really able to uh, confirm that the same uh, 20 micron gold plating and uh, this case uh, is, is without a date however the trick is that these two watches have the same movement except of the little date window at the four o'clock so it's basically this movement and in, in, in the in the right hand is the same as in the left hand but this does not have the uh, date uh, circle so there are no date circle and and but the same uh, but the same uh, movement inside. So let's just move to the these were the standard uh, these were the standard glass shoot uh, normal uh, type of goop glass shoot the the era around 50s 60s still 65. So let's just move to the era of the glass shoot spezimatic. Uh, spasimatic means uh, this uh, watch oh, you can hear the automatic and the balance is just winding the watch so this watch is basically the spasimatic which were the higher uh, precision so that the watch was uh, making much better uh, in terms of uh, keeping the time you can see that this is an automatic movement again the goob logo on the on the back and this is again gold plate which means that it's gold plated 
uh, normally they were using uh, 14 karat gold plating so again in this case the case is in uh, great condition uh, the dial is the gold uh, brushed you can see the the lines of the brush everything's working on this watch and these were the I, I believe the most popular amongst the most popular uh, glass shooter watches and uh, also they then later improved into the bison model so above the 26 rubies there were the they uh, printed the bison uh, the word bison so this is the glass shooter specimatic I believe the caliber is the 78 77 automatic movement with, with the day window inside and from this let me just shift to the uh, my personal favorite this is the glass shooter specimatic this one is uh, in just like fantastic condition look at this nowhere I believe uh, this was put into a safe deposit box or something because this watch was never worn and uh, it's the same again it's the same movement as uh, as this spasmatic again, again with the without the uh, date window and it's much more uh, wearable than than any other uh, let me just show you the back of the watch yeah it's again gold plaque made in GDR which is the German Democratic Republic and GUB GUB which is uh, which stands for uh, German uh, Ohren uh, brand I believe which is the German uh, watchmaker brand so let's just speak something about the prices because all of the, all these watches are for sale and let me just uh, uh, tell you something about the prices for example this uh, is around 150 euros which is 160 dollars I believe uh, for this one it's like a hundred euros maybe more uh, which is 110 dollars for this one uh, I would say the pricing is uh, 150 euros 160 dollars uh, the Q1 uh, these these watches are the collectible ones as I mentioned so the Q1s are going approximately 200 plus euros which is 220 plus uh, dollars even more in, in some cases uh, for this one I would say the white pearl dial is like something 100 and 60 euros 170 dollars the uh, spasmatic uh, certainly something around 200 euros uh, all alongside with the with the other spasmatic the spasmatic is in such a good condition that this uh, certainly goes for uh, 250 euros and uh, so 270 dollars and in this case the spasmatic around 210 220 uh, dollars so all of these watches are for sale uh, you can check them on my website and from there you can link uh, to the to the eBay store I'm selling all of them and again uh, so this was uh, the clockwork time website and these are the uh, details you can you can contact me means um, if you if you want to have if you want uh, some something to ask you can ask so all of these watches can be can be basically uh, can be found in uh, thrift stores maybe in garage sales or some junkyard sales I don't know like uh, these are pretty common in the Eastern Europe uh, location but highly collectible in the US because they are hard to find so I would say these watches can be can be buy uh, can, can be bought for, for approximately the, the prices I just uh, told you guys so if you're interested head to the clockwork time 
and .eu website, and uh, or you just send me a mail, or just check the check the Instagram, and uh, hopefully we will see each other sooner. This was Zoli from Clockwork Time. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.